there's a bite. And on the day, I was actually fishing for F1s, and I never hooked one, and there's a lot more in these lakes now. None of that, I never actually hooked an F1. And I think, again, with the water being so clear, that they just like sitting in the edges because it's the only cover. But I couldn't believe, to be honest, when I first went in on it, I had one chuck on, on my feeder, went in with micros and corn, which is how you know people normally fish here. I don't fish here a lot in the summertime because I'm here, there and everywhere. And I know that micros and corn have always been a good bait. And I did miss a sign on a bit of corn and then I had a go with an expander and again missed a sign but as soon as I changed the live maggots it was unbelievable and we normally think of these the lakes you know big open water lakes that your edge fishing is more late on you know your last 40 minutes of the match whereas I could have literally knowing what I know now could have had one chuck on my feeder or even two chucks maybe 20 minutes into the match and then gone straight down there and during the match I caught a, a carp an old carp and then there's some stocky carp in here as well and I caught an old carp that was probably 10 pound and a stocky that was look at that for a fish you can see him so low down in the water caught an old carp for like 10 pound and then I caught a stocky carp that was probably 5 pound but that was within the first hour of the match starting and it's sort of cold now, you know, November time. And I'd say that is a tiny one for, you know, um, gold standards. You see it's hooked smack in the top of the mouth.